Amber, I had the pleasure of meeting our first guest at the opening gala of the Metropolitan Opera's 125th anniversary season. I'm so delighted she's here today. Uh, we talked about her coming on the show, and she decided she would come. Please welcome the Grammy Award-winning mezzo-soprano, Susan Graham. It's so fun to have you here. The last time we were in formal dress, oh, yeah. um, standing making a, uh, a beautiful cocktail <laughs> and the intermission. Uh, Maybe we should make another beautiful cocktail today. Oh, are you in the mood? Maybe it's a little early it for that. It does not fit with our body and soul challenge month. Oh, we're in this detox. Is detox this is and detox. cleanse. This okay. is, we're not doing no any of that. For no detox. champagne, no alcohol, not for this entire week. None. Okay. None. Okay. But uh, what do you do to keep in shape? You look great. Oh, thank you. Well, I eat a lot of escarole. No, I, um, <laughs> I, I try to eat healthy, and, you know, it's very difficult with with the very transient lifestyle that I have. You know, You're we, on planes all the time, We aren't opera you? singers. We're, we're gypsies all over the world. Yeah. And to try and find a fitness regimen and a good healthy eating regimen and all the different time zones and time changes, it's, it's a challenge. So I'm thrilled to be here this w today and yeah. learn about your, your oh, program good. this well, week. Well, maybe you should join the challenge with me because I, I started idea. it. I did. I started really? it. I actually started two weeks ago. I was in the you same... You got a head start on I it. I was in the same snowstorm you were in because I was in Tucson, Arizona, and there were people there from Santa Fe. Oh. You have a house in Santa Fe, right? I do, and I got and caught in a blizzard at Christmas. Oh, so. it was something. I mean, it was a really, really really um, bad weather. Oh, I, so I, went nice. to I went to Arizona thinking I was going to, I went to Miraval Spa mm -hmm. and I decided I would hike every day, the five hour hike and <laughs> spend all my time outdoors in, in a nice snow. dry warm. <gasps> One day it snowed six inches. In Arizona. Yeah, we hiked anyway. We hiked in the rain. We hiked, it rained every day. You're braver than I am. In the blizzard, I sat in front of my fireplace. You did? Oh. Yeah. You should have gone out cross-country skiing. I'm yeah, sure I it's should've. fabulous. Well, you see that you started your, your fitness program before I did. So. Well, you have a new CD out. I, I want to mention that because it's so beautiful. Oh, uh, thank uh, you. Un frisson français? Un frisson français. Okay. And uh, what's on it? It's a hundred years of French songs from sort of starting in the middle of the 19th century and going through the middle of the 20th century. It's like a tasting menu. It is. It's so I great. like to call it a little, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's all different composers. It's great to put in your car and listen on the way to work. Or, it is. Or just when you're on your way to shop or something. It's so great. It gets you in a good mood. And it's very many different kinds of moods yeah. with, you know, French songs are, are just as many different flavors as, as you have on the show. So uh, you are really a specialist in French music too uh, well by default I don't know how that happened to a little girl from New Mexico but I don't either but it's amazing <laughs> and, and you sound it's so beautiful your your voice is so extraordinary oh, thank you uh, what's coming up in your career well I'm about to embark on a four-month tour of Europe so this is sort of my last New York hurrah I've been here for for the whole fall season because I did two productions at the Metropolitan Opera right. this fall but you know the New York. Say which ones? So I was in else. Don Giovanni at the mm, Met, so and I was beautiful. I was also in the La Damnation de Faust, which is Damnation of Faust. Yes, <laughs> fantastic, everyone. And um, and I also want to mention because it's so it's so valuable the program that has been instituted mm -hmm. by the Metropolitan Opera that you can go even if you live in a distant city, you can go on a Saturday afternoon or and watch the opera live to the movies, movie theaters. At your local movie theater, it's yeah. It's so amazing, and people get dressed up. And it's fantastic. It it's, is. It's, it's had kind of a, a cult following. You know, people across the country who may not have access to live opera can experience oh. opera live from the Met in HD, which is a little daunting on a big movie screen. Yeah. So you sure you all that. look gorgeous. Well, oh, thank listen, you. Listen, it's, it's so beautiful. But it's, it's a wonderful program that exposes a lot of people to what we do in a way that is up close and personal, for better yeah. or for worse. And for all the hard work. <laughs> that goes into the creation of an opera to be able to expand the audience so vastly. Uh, it's so amazing. I yeah, love we're it thrilled. So much. We're thrilled with it. So I thought we would start uh, today by cooking something very healthy oh, good. and very good and something that, uh, you, you know, you can take the recipe with you and ask, you know, you're the prima donna. They're going to make you anything you want in these hotels. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll remember that. You have that. to ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> so take something. We're going to do a, a, a delicious fish. Um, okay. It's just kind of 
steamed fish mm -hmm. on top of a bed of escarole. Oh, it sounds delicious. And escarole is so full of delicious vitamin. This is escarole. It's a member of the chicory family. Mm. You eat this, right? I do. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. It has this uh, beautiful, it goes to yellow in the center and bright green around. And it's also full of folate. It's just good for you. It's a, and it's a sturdy lettuce kind of mm -hmm. um, a leaf. It's, is it I, related I it. to, to Andive? Oh, this is a chicory on these are all right. part of the same uh, same family. Mm -hmm. So um, first you start off with, uh, and by the way, the recipe for this is in, you should take this with you. Oh, good. This is our little everyday food magazine. And this is like the best. You put this in your pocket. It's portable. It. It's portable. It's packable. And that's the whole <laughs> idea of it. You put it in your pocketbook and you have about 50 great recipes. And <sighs> you can just shop from the ingredients and take them home and make these delicious dish, uh, dishes. So uh, about a, uh, two tablespoons of olive oil, mm -hmm. uh, two cloves of garlic thinly mm -hmm. sliced, and one red onion thinly <sighs> sliced. And just saute that. We have one already done that's here. That's the best smell in the world, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it great? Oof. Oh, I love this so much. And you know, it's the basis for so many dishes anyway. And now the endive, we have to chop up the endive. You can uh, Do we just, chop or do we tear? Well, you can, can do, you, can you you can do either thing? way. Oh yeah, you can chop it if you oh. wish, and it goes very fast. And you know, can just slice it crosswise like oh, okay. this, leaving out the core, or you can pull off the leaves. Okay. But uh, oh, no, I want to make a little more kind of what? Exciting. What, pulling them off? No, chopping. Oh, chopping is fun. Yeah. And it's easy and it's fast. Out? Yeah, just make sure we don't put the, okay. the core into the um, the dish because we don't want we don't want that. Okay. Um, and just go this way, and then you can go crosswise okay. too. Okay. Make but, them all nice and And small. you can use one head, two heads, depending on how many uh, pieces of fish. If you're going to um, cook for a lot of people, you can go crosswise if you want. Oh, just put this right on top of the onions. Beautiful. Do you need my my batch too? Uh, yeah, you can throw that in okay. there. I'm going to have this for my lunch today. If you want to stay for lunch. Can I have some too? You can indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep, just, I think that's enough for this okay. pot. Yeah. And then, uh, why don't you salt and pepper the fish for me? Oh, okay. Uh, just a little bit on each side. Here's your salt and pepper. And we need some slices of lemon. On each and, side? Uh, yeah, just yeah, a little pieces. bit of salt and pepper. It's always good to season the fish before you... Uh, cook it in a dish like this because um, it's not going to be moved. You don't have to move it at all. And we're going to squeeze. You know, okay. I'm very intimidated by cooking fish. You are? Mm -hmm. Oh, why? It's, so this is a good it's day such for a me. beautiful. Oh, here, sprinkle okay. fast. Okay, stop it. We're on TV. Because I'm always afraid we're on I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah, we're not your kitchen. Here in your real kitchen. A little bit more. I'm, um, because I'm always afraid that I'm going to not cook at the right, you know, length of time or the right temperature. Well, the whole great thing about fish is it's about, at the most, 10 minutes per inch. Oh. To, and you can use that, but in a steam, steaming uh, situation like this, um, it's even a little bit less. Mm -hmm. uh, the way to tell a fish is done perfectly is when that little bit of white protein kind of emerges. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's a... A simple way to know that the fish is done enough. So do you want you don't want it too transparent no. still? Put that in here. Don't overlap. Okay. Yeah, that goes way over there. Good. Don't get your ruffles in the pot. No. That's a great shirt for a great beautiful Not blouse. For cooking, maybe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. And then we uh, want you to just squeeze the rest of this lemon juice. Do Ooh. you have one of these at home? I do. I love these squeezers. Oh. I didn't have one in the Bahamas, great. and I was squeezing lemons and limes. I tried to find it. I couldn't find one of these. And seeds everywhere. It was not in the house. I'm sending the, my host uh, one of these for his kitchen. Mm. And then just cover that. So the next time you cook, you don't have to yes, do it by hand. indeed. <laughs> and miraculously, it is all done <gasps> wow. right here. Look mm. how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, you can oh. squeeze a little bit more. I like to alter. There's a, a whole article in our magazine um, in the January issue um, about citrus. And I just love the taste so of citrus. Healthy. So I saw these gorgeous oranges back there. Oh, and I thought sweet. I would just squeeze a little bit of orange juice on top. It's a little sweet in it, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, so pretty. Lovely. And now you just lift this out onto a plate. This is four healthy servings. And did I mention that this was codfish? Oh, right. Yes, this mm. is cod. You can do this with salmon, cod, bass, whatever you want. A nice, fre the freshest, most beautiful fish. That's for you, oh. and this one is for me. And uh, oops, there. Yeah. And look how gorgeous! Oh, Isn't that pretty? Bravo! You have that drama indeed. There. Thank you. And 
This is a healthy meal to get you on track for your body and soul challenge. And to learn all about the challenge, go to MarthaStewart.com. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make an escarole salad. Oh, okay? Bon appetit, madame. Bon appetit. Later.